Sustainability of the foods we eat is a hot topic these days, and one place you'll often see a sustainable food chain in action is the hustle and bustle of your local fish market. I'm here with Chef Paul Brahini, and our FRDC Fish of the Week is the Spanish mackerel. Now, Paul, we love catching these speedsters, but how do you like to cook them? Today, I'm doing a little Moroccan pan-seared mackerel, and I'm serving that with a white bean and uh, chickpea salad. Wow, sounds pretty good. I look forward to seeing how this comes up. In the meantime, let's find out more about this species. Spanish mackerel is caught commercially from south of Queensland's Gold Coast all the way across the north to the area around Geraldton in Western Australia. So the first thing I need to do is make a Moroccan spice marinade. It's a combination between fresh and dried. So what I have to do is dry roast my dry ingredients. Australia's commercial catch is reported across five different stocks within Western Australia, the Northern Territory and Queensland. All five stocks are currently classified as sustainable. We're gonna pop in our garlic, just a couple of slices. We've got some coriander, and our sea salt. Queensland is the leading supplier of Spanish mackerel to Australia's seafood markets, with an annual haul totaling almost 500 ton. What this does now is just releases all them beautiful flavours from the garlic. So take around about half a tablespoon full of your Moroccan spices. And in wreck fishing, Queensland contributes 272 ton of the national total of 392 ton. I generally marinate this for around about half an hour. So we're gonna pop the fish in now. Presentation side down first. Now you don't want the pan too hot, we're gonna lower that temperature now because the last thing I wanna do is burn the spices which will send it bitter. So what I'm putting in my salad today is some chickpeas, we've got some white cannellini beans, we've also got some nice red onion that I've finely diced. We've got some great beautiful avocado. Pop this down along our line of yogurt. A Little bit of that extra avocado is always good. Sensational. Grab a little bit of our pan juices. Absolutely beautiful colour. And we're just going to swirl this around the plate. So there you go, mate. Wow, look at this for a dish. I can't wait to eat it. Go to fish.gov.au to see the full facts and figures on just how important the Spaniard is to our sustainable seafood and wreck fishing alike. And check out fishfiles.com.au for important nutritional information complete with a host of delicious recipes. Paul's mackerel recipe is on the front page of the Escape with ET website right now.